One really nice feature in the SQL Server Management Studio is the ability to build queries both using programming text or graphical tools. And let me show you these. Now, for those of you who come up through the access ranks, if you got your introduction to databases with access, and that's a very standard path for a lot of people, you're going to like what I show you here because you've seen these tools before. But notice, we'll start off. I'm going to go into my database over here. I've already expanded them. I went into AdventureWorks and I expanded tables. Then I scrolled down to the person.person .person table. And then you can see right here, I expanded columns. And I just want to choose like first name, last name, and email promotion. I want to show you a couple of things here. I can type select. I can type first name, comma. Now, if I want to do the last name, notice I can grab this, left click, drag it into the environment, watch my cursor there, drop it, and it will put it in. It'll make the syntax look a little different, but that's okay. Then I can do email promotion. Then I'm going to say from, and I'll go to the next line to make it easy to see, person dot person. Now, if I execute that, that's a text query, right? I built that totally with text. There's the results. I can scroll through those. Now, if these are in my way and taking up screen space, I can either come up here and get the double arrows and pull them down with my mouse, or what I like to do is go up to Window and choose to hide the results pane. And when I do that, it's much, much better. Now, let's do this. Let's delete the text and let's build this thing graphically. So I'm going to right click. Notice I was out here in the white space. Come down and choose Design Query and Editor. Notice Control Shift Q if you can remember that. I can't. Now we can add a table. So I will come down, scroll down. I'll grab my person.person .person table. Double click it. Notice it made the table appear. Drag it down. Close it out. Notice I can drag the bottom of my person table down to get more room. And now, notice down here, there is a select query. And it already knows that I'm trying to select from the person table. Well, I'm going to come back up here. Just check the first name, the last name, email promotion. Notice it built my query down here. This is a great way to learn how to build queries, especially when you're working with complex joins. Drop all those tables into Query Designer. Start playing with your results. Now, what I will do is come out here, click on OK. There's my query. And all I have to do now is execute it to see what it looks like. There it is. Well, that's kind of neat, you say, but let's make it a little more challenging. Let's add middle name in here. Now, let's say that someone gave me this query, and I need to see exactly what's going on with it. I'm going to copy this query. Then I'm going to right click and go into the design query and editor, close the table dialog box out and come down here, right click and paste that query. Up here at the top, I had to click up here. Notice it brought that table up and it is showing me what has been selected in here. In other words, it went backwards. I gave it the query, came up here and clicked, and it gave me the graphical view of that query. Now that's really huge because when you're trying to do some of those complex joins and you had them working before in a report, but you kind of need to tweak them a little bit and you're not sure how your tweaks are going to work with some of your inner joins and right joins and so forth. And we're going to cover those later. This is a great way to come in here and get a visual of what tables are involved on how they're related to each other and all that sort of thing. So the ability to do this either in text and notice if I say OK here, that has added my query again. That top one was already there. And I can come out here and execute it. And I can see the results there. I hope all that made sense. If it didn't, just go back through it real slow. Hope it didn't confuse you. But that is the way to use either text or the graphical tool. And you can use the graphical tool two ways. So that's going to come into play big time later on. And you'll probably see us playing with this a little bit as we move through some of the more involved sections of T-SQL in the course a little bit later on.